Driver, your source for the latest car news and reviews. We are at the 2013 North American International Auto Show looking at the Infiniti Q50. This model right here is the hybrid variant, but the design is brand new and is expected possibly across the whole spectrum of the Q50 brand. You have chrome accents highlighting the fog lights and possibly LEDs right in there with, for what looks like turn signals. Front parking sensors. In the interiors you have plush leather seating, I just sat on it and it's really comfortable. Looks like this one extends outward to provide better comfort. Just standard buttons over here, nothing new. Home link. What looks like two touch screens, or it could be one touch screen at the top, or at the bottom, and a normal screen at the top. Here are some controls that looks like what controls the top screen. You have paddle shifters right across. This one is a single. Yeah, they didn't cheat LCD screen with regular gauges to the left and the right. The rear legroom is pretty much similar to the current model. You can choose your drive mode over here. So if there's a car below this, that might be built. This is the Infiniti Q50 shown at the North American International Auto Show brought to you by the driver.ca. Somewhere in the United States. This is the rear half of the Infiniti Q50. I gotta say, the taillights are kind of reminiscent of the current generation Hyundai Sonata with the chrome stripe running in the middle. But it has a lot of LEDs, so it's nowhere close to the Sonata, unless you look at the Sonata hybrid model. Infinity says that a lot of these design elements have been borrowed from its concept cars like the Essence. And they've done a pretty good job of managing the design on this new Infiniti Q50, a replacement for the current generation G35. Here's the exterior of the car, AMG badge right there. This is new, it has an S AMG. This is the 2014 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. It comes in several variants with the engine choices 